Welcome to this short clinical tip where I will show you how to split perianal teeth and also how to establish a rigid fixed orthodontic retainer. So as you can see from the x-rays, this patient has severe recession and wide open embrasure spaces that may make it difficult to block out and isolate the teeth. So in this case what I will do is I will stretch the rubber dam from bicuspid to bicuspid then use a loaded disposable dynamic mixing tip to inject the polyvinyl and pressure material into the embrasure spaces to block out the undercuts. I prefer to use a black or dark colored polyvinyl material to give me the contrast that I need to make the cleanup and trimming back of the excess material a simple process. Once the material is set, I take a football shaped diamond burr to trim back the excess and brush back the polyvinyl material to the CEJ of the adjacent teeth. Occasionally a new patient will present with their own natural occurring blockout material forming on the lingual and the buccal surface. When a patient presents with a, uh, a rotator or malocclusion, sometimes I may have to do a minor enamelplasty to align the teeth to keep the material as thin as possible. To enhance retention, I'll often take a microetcher and aerobraid the lingual surface of the anterior teeth. The teeth are then etched with phosphoric acid and bonded with a sixth generation bonding material. A small amount of composite will be laid on the lingual. Then a piece of 2 millimeter dentopreg composite reinforced fibers will be embedded into this material and then a thin layer of composite layer on top in a sandwich technique. I found that the easiest way to size up and measure the amount of material that you need to reinforce the lingual is to take a small piece of tin foil and then adapt it to the lingual surface of the anterior teeth. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short clinical tip on how to splint periodontal teeth and to fabricate an orthodontic retainer.